and welcome back to Humble Heart Horsemanship. My name is Sabrina. This is my horse, Gemini. And in today's video, we're talking about treeless saddles. We have an escape artist over here who's trying to figure out a way to untie himself. Um, it's really hilarious to watch. So, if you guys are not familiar with what a treeless saddle is, a treeless saddle is a saddle without a tree. So they call saddles that do have trees, treed saddles, and they are obviously different than a treeless saddle because a treeless saddle does not contain a tree. And a tree is either a plastic or a wood, uh, essentially like a foundational structural piece um, that is built into the saddle. And the reason why they put trees inside of saddles is because they help to distribute the rider's weight better over the horse's back and also provide a special gap along the spine uh, that way the rider's weight is not being distributed on the horse's spine because we want to avoid that so today i have this treeless saddle here this is a mustang brand soft ride treeless saddle and as you can probably tell, it does not have stirrup fenders or stirrups on it. They actually are supposed to go right here, but um, I took them off and I'll explain why I did that just in a little bit. So why do some riders gravitate towards a treeless saddle? Well, there's a lot of different reasons, but one of the main reasons is that a lot of times treed saddles can be very difficult to fit to horses' backs. and. All horses' backs are built differently, and so saddle fitting can become very, very difficult. I actually bought this saddle for Gunner, my other gelding. He's retired now, but I bought it for him because I was having the most insane time trying to find a saddle that fit him well. And so I got to the point where I was like, okay, I'm just going to get a treeless saddle because I don't even ride him all that long when we do ride. And he's getting to the point where he's almost reaching retirement, so I thought that a treeless saddle would be a good option just for that reason. Um, and the reason why treeless saddles are easier to fit than treed saddles is because they do not have a tree inside them. So most of them are very flexible and they sometimes are made out of like a neoprene material or a leather among other materials. And they usually conform to your horse's back a little bit better um, than trying to get a treed saddle on your horse's back. So that's one reason why some people decide to purchase a treeless saddle. Another reason is that treeless saddles provide most usually a very close contact feel. And a close contact feel just means that you, when you're riding your horse, you're able to feel your horse move underneath of you better um, than if you were riding in a saddle with a tree because the tree can sometimes block uh, what you're able to feel from your seat and what you're able to feel when you're riding. A lot of riders also love treeless saddles because they are very light in comparison to treed saddles. This saddle right here, I would say probably weighs like 10 pounds. This saddle is more or less like a over glorified bareback pad is the way that I like to look at it. And um, it's very light. In fact, I can throw it a little bit. Um, so they're very light saddles, at least most treeless saddles are. So um, if you are concerned about how much weight your horse is carrying with you as a rider and with your other tack, treeless saddle might be good for that. Also, if you yourself as the rider have difficulty lifting a heavy saddle up onto your horse's back for whatever reason, a treeless saddle might be the way to go as well. It's really important to understand though that just because a saddle is treeless, um, it does not mean that you do not have to check and make sure that it fits your horse's back. So regardless of whether you have a treed saddle or a treeless saddle, you do need to check the saddle fit. It's really important because if you do not check to make sure that there is clearance at your horse's wither and clearance um, on their spine and that it's distributing your weight and stop pinching them anywhere, your horse could easily develop saddle sores, a sore back, and also develop behavioral vices because of the poorly fitting saddle. So just because your saddle is treeless, you still need to check that it fits your horse's body. Another thing I want to point out is that treeless saddles can fit some horses better than treed saddles, uh, but it totally depends on your horse's body conformation. And so a lot of times with the treed saddles, I've seen a lot of people have issues if they have a horse that has a really round back. 
um, because a, a horse with a really round back, if you put a saddle like this on them, you're going to find that because there's really no tree and no foundational structure on the inside, a lot of times you're going to find that the saddle might slide and also it can slide backwards, especially if you are doing a lot of like hilly trails. So some people have difficulty with treeless saddles sliding. And one way that you can help prevent those things from happening is by putting a breast collar on your treeless saddle on your horse. So this treeless saddle has a little ring down here, if you can kind of see that. Oop. See that ring right there? There's also one up here. Are you gonna eat the saddle, Gemini? He's like, yeah, thinking about it. <laughs> So if your saddle does have those little D rings on it, it's a really good idea to use a breast collar, especially if you're doing a lot of hilly riding, like a lot of hilly trails or um, any type of riding where your saddle may slide back a little bit or start to roll. So one thing that's really important to understand about treeless saddles is that they do not have spinal clearance for your horse while a treed saddle does. And that's a really important detail to understand because uh, when you ride in a treeless saddle that does not have spinal clearance for your horse's back, your horse could develop some back pain and some back problems and behavioral traits based off of the fact that your weight as the rider is not being evenly distributed across the correct places on the horse's back and that could cause pain to your horse's spine and overall make their job a lot more difficult for them to do. So if we look at the underside, of this treeless saddle, okay, you notice that there's obviously no tree. I can run my hand along here. There's nothing firm on the inside, okay? Um, and also, there's really no spinal clearance. So if you do ride in a treeless saddle, one thing that is vital to get is a contoured saddle pad, okay? A contoured saddle pad is important to have because it's going to provide some spinal clearance with your treeless saddle. So there's a lot of different contoured saddle pads out there on the market. And you wanna find one that is really of good quality and also one that's made specifically for a treeless saddle because you don't wanna be putting your weight as a rider on the horse's spine. Also with riding in a treeless saddle, I don't recommend that you spend more than about maybe around 30 minutes of riding in a treeless saddle. So I like to think about treeless saddles, at least most of them, as like an over glorified bare back pad, like I was saying earlier. So I actually took the stirrups off of this treeless saddle and pretty much now just use it as like an over glorified bare back pad. And a lot of times if, you know, if someone has never ridden in a treeless saddle, they'll, they'll ask and they'll be like, okay, what is the difference? What does it feel like? And to me, at least in the treeless saddles that I have ridden in, um, a lot of them are comfortable. And I like that you have a close contact feel and you're able to really feel what's going on um, under your seat with the horse. But with most treeless saddles, they do not feel as stable and as secure as a treed saddle. And especially if you're riding an inexperienced horse or a green horse, I don't really recommend the treeless saddle uh, because it doesn't give you as good of stability and security in the saddle as a treed saddle would. So most of my riding I do in my treed saddle, um, but if I just am going for a casual ride, we're just going for a light little trail ride or just gonna be walking and kind of hanging out in the field for our ride, then I might ride in the treeless saddle. But I think that it's important to understand that you will likely not feel as secure as you would in a saddle that is, has a tree in it. Since a lot of treeless saddles are like an overglorified bareback pad, you can kind of think about riding in them like you would ride bareback. So a lot of riders don't know that when you ride bareback, you are putting a substantial amount of your weight as the rider on your horse's back. And that can be uncomfortable for the horse over time. Just like with bareback riding, when I ride in my treeless saddle, I usually don't ride in it for more than like 30, 40 minutes because I don't wanna be putting too much strain on my horse's back. And of course, if you are a lighter rider in weight, you may not have to worry about that or think about that too much, but that's just kind of my overall rule with treeless riding. I hope this video has helped you learn a little bit more about the treeless saddle. There's so many different types of treeless saddles out there and different companies that make them. 
And I just think they're a really fascinating piece of tech. It's a really innovative, very cool idea that someone decided to come up with a treeless saddle. If you guys have not purchased a copy of the Humble Heart Horsemanship Training Journal yet, I highly recommend that you do. I created the Humble Heart Horsemanship Training Journal as a journal for you to log either your groundwork or your riding sessions with your horse. And it's designed to help strengthen you as a rider and also strengthen the relationship that you have with your horse. And it's a very life-changing journal for a lot of people. And so if you guys haven't picked up a copy yet, make sure that you scroll down in the description box and click on the link. You can purchase it on Amazon. If you guys did enjoy the video, and if you did learn something from it, make sure that you scroll down, hit that like button, and subscribe for more videos just like this one. And Gemini over here, who is casually falling asleep. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!